Shalom everyone, Joshua here, and welcome to another episode of Undoctrinate. Question, why should we be given the choice as to which pharma dopes we put in our body? Well, I'm going to make this very simple for y'all peeps. So of course all the rhetoric out here today is the nonsense about people pushing the vax this, vax that, you got to get the Kobe vax, blah, 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 yakety, yakety, right? Well, number one, it's using techniques and technology that have never before been used. The amount of duration that occurred in the development of this nonsense uh, came at an expedited rate one just cannot trust with any logical, logical or reasonable mind. You just, you can't just willy nilly jump on the Titanic and think it's going to float. All right, peeps. So to get to the point why we are given the choice as to what, you know, sorcery pharma dope we want to put in our bodies is very, very simple. And on the screen before you, as you've probably already been reading, are acetaminophen Tylenol side effects, right? Oh, yes. Yes. It is quite clear that literally one of the most common pharma dopes in nearly everyone's medicine cabinet is Tylenol, or next to that, ibuprofen, right? Well, tag along with me, peeps, and let's go here to drugwatch.com and just look. That, yes, Tylenol, a drug considered safe for most, is known to cause complications in some. So there's the risk of rare but serious skin reactions. These skin reactions known as toxic epidermal necrolysis, uh, Stevenson-Johnson syndrome, an acute generalized exenthematous pustulosis. Okay, sure, never pronounced that one before. Can be deadly. So yes, there are people out there that have reactions to something as common as Tylenol, peeps. Same thing with ibuprofen. Here, Tylenol, high doses lead to liver damage. Liver damage is the most serious side effect of acetaminophen and it can be fatal, right? Let's see, several people have filed lawsuits claiming liver failure after taking a recommended dose. One reason some experts warn about the dangers of Tylenol is the fine line between the recommended dose and the dose at which the drug becomes toxic. Let me tell you, peeps, for any of y'all that may have never tried Tylenol before, you know you could literally take one of those Tylenol pills and die. Literally. You don't know. It's a risk every time you take some Pharmado peeps. And this is why we're given the right to choose which Pharmadopes we put in our body. Vaccine, medicine, whatever. Doesn't matter. Chemotherapies, whatever. We have the right to choose what sorcery garbage we want to put in our body. And I can tell you right now, the mRNA mutagenesis vaccine garbage? Yeah, no. Not even putting that hoobie doobie antichrist garbage up in my body. Yeah. Go look up the difference on an MSDS sheet between vaccines of yesteryear, you know, the old school ones, the MMRs and stuff. Uh, look those up. Versus what the ingredients are on MSDS sheets to, for today's vaccines. And let me tell you, I've seen a lot of ghost stories. And those don't scare me nearly as much as what they're doing to drugs these days. And even the food industry, it's garbage, man. It's garbage. So yeah, there you go. That's the simple explanation as to why we're allowed to have the right to choose what pharma dope we put in our body. It's very simple. Even something as simple as Tylenol can have serious complications. And so, I mean, no, I'm not going to be a guinea pig for their stupid, crazy scheme. I don't know. 
ibuprofen. Ibuprofen side effects at the Mayo Clinic abdominal pain, acid or sour stomach, belching, bloating, cloudy urine, decrease in amount of urine, decrease in urine output or decrease in urine concentrating ability, diarrhea, difficulty having a bowel movement, excess air or gas in stomach or intestines, full feeling, heartburn, indigestion, itching skin, pain or discomfort in chest, upper stomach or throat, pale skin, passing gas, nausea, noisy rattling, breathing, rash with flat lesions or small raised lesions on the skin, shortness of breath, swelling of face, fingers, hands, feet, lower legs and ankles, Troubled breathing at rest, troubled breathing with exertion, unusual bleeding or bruising, unusual tiredness or weakness, vomiting, weight gain, less common, abdominal cramps, stomach soreness or discomfort, rare, agitation, back, leg or stomach pains, bleeding gums, blistering, peeling, loosening of skin, blood and urine or stools, bloody black or tarry stools, blurred vision, burning feeling in chest or stomach, change in vision, vision, chest pain, chills, clay-colored stools, coma, confusion, constipation, cough or hoarseness, dark urine, decreased urine output, depression, difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, dilated neck veins, dizziness, dry mouth, extreme fatigue, fast irregular pounding or racing heartbeat or pulse, fever with or without chills, frequent urination, general body swelling, general feeling of tiredness or weakness, hair loss, thinning of hair, headache, hives or welts, hostility, impaired vision, increased blood pressure, increased volume of pale, dilute urine, irregular breathing, irritability, itching, joint or muscle pain, lab results that show problems with liver. And you know what? I'm just going to end there. You can go on through the rest of it, peeps. So there you go. Why are we given the right to choose what pharmadopes we put in our body? Because as you can see, two of the most common drugs, even themselves, have known potential side effects that at times can even be serious. And on rare occasions lead to death. So there you go. That's why we get to choose what pharma dope we put in our body. And if you don't like it, well, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Yehosha. Get thee behind me, Satan.